Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about something really important and that's battery life. Of course, you want to get the best battery life out of your iPhone. That's really, really important for every user and you can get the best battery life by changing more than 20 different settings that we'll show you guys on this video. Now, the first thing you want to do if you have an iPhone that supports 5G, make sure you go to your settings, go under seller and here under seller data options, you will find a section that says voice and data. If you go here, you will have the option for 5G if you have, of course, a device and also a carrier that supports a 5G. Now, you will have 5G only, 5G audio and of course, a 4G. Now, what you want to do if you don't get 5G all the time in your area, make sure you switch switch right here to 4G or LTE or at least use it on auto. Don't leave 5G on all the time. Of course, if you don't get 5G reception all the time or in your area, maybe where you live, you don't get 5G, make sure you switch that off. Now, the network on your iPhone is really, really important. And in some cases, it might even affect the battery life of your iPhone. Now, one thing you can do if you just have like really bad battery life on your iPhone is try to reset the network settings and you can do that by going to settings go to general and go right here to transfer or reset iPhone tap on reset and right here you will be able to reset all the network settings we had reports from different users that this did help once they had reset their network settings of course they got better battery life now you can try this it's not of course guaranteed that it will work in your case but you can try it now what you need to know is that this will just reset the network settings won't delete anything but any wi-fi that you have been previously connected you will have to reconnect to them of course enter the passcode also, if you have a configuration for your cellular data, that will be deleted as well. So you will have to re-enter the configuration for that, of course, if it's not done automatically. Now, when it comes to battery life, settings that are most important are settings that actually allow iPhone and apps to work in the background all the time. And one of them is right here. Go to privacy and scroll all the way down and you have motion and fitness. Now, right here, we'll find the apps that actually use the sensors on your iPhone to track your motion and your fitness. If you have here a lot of apps, that's of course really, really bad. All those apps will be using those sensors in the background. That way will have a huge impact on the battery life of your iPhone. What I suggest you do is go ahead and just turn off the apps that you don't actually need like that one right there. I don't use it. Just go ahead and turn it off. Now, haptics are also really important. Basically, vibration on your device. Now, what you can do about that is change the settings to off. Now, go ahead and go to sounds and haptics. And right here, if you scroll all the way down, you will have system haptics. This will switch off all the haptics, all the vibration feedbacks that you get on your device. You can also switch vibration completely off by going under accessibility right here, go to touch and right here will find vibration. Go ahead and turn that off. A newer setting that has been added to iOS is sound recognition. The sound recognition will use a lot of battery as it's constantly tracking basically sounds and hearing basically for those sounds that you have enabled on this setting. So you go under accessibility right here, go to sound recognition and make sure you switch this off. Of course, if you don't need it, you're not using it, maybe you have turned it on just to try it or something like that, make sure you have this switched off. Now, another thing right here under accessibility, go to touch. Now, another setting that I suggest you should turn off is back tap. Now, of course, maybe use back tap, but a lot of people probably don't use it or use it very, very rarely. If you do that, make sure you have this turned off because it will also use battery as it's just working in the background. Anything that has to do with iPhone sensors and things like that is always in the background. They're ready for you to use it. Maybe you don't use it for days or stuff like that. So make sure you always switch those off. Another thing that has a huge impact on battery life is screen time. I don't use screen time on my device. I don't need it. I don't have to restrict anything here. So if you don't as well, make sure you have screen time switched off. 
Now, screen time is basically useful if you just want to limit any apps, you want to limit any websites, maybe if someone else, maybe a child or something like that uses your iPhone, then you can go ahead and use this. But if you don't need those, make sure you have screen time turned off all the time. Now, going under privacy here, we have a lot of settings that you should take a look at and of course configure the right way. Go to Bluetooth and right here you can see all the different apps that use the Bluetooth of your device. These apps will be constantly using the Bluetooth if you leave these on and of course Bluetooth requires quite a lot of battery to operate. What you need to do is of course go ahead and switch these off. Also location services right here at the top. I mostly keep these off but of course you might need this so what you want to do is go ahead and take a look at the list of apps that you have right here and see how you have this configured so you can see we have a bunch of apps here but we also have the option here to just choose to use the location while using the app if you leave this all the time on it will use this location even in the background and you know location services just drain battery what i suggest you do while using the app or ask next time so anytime the apps want to use your location they will have to first ask you if you just allow that or not and also what would also help is turning off precise location because that will require even more power to basically find your precise location of course anytime you don't need this or for any app that you don't need this you make sure to turn it off and right here under location services, if you scroll all the way down, you will have system services. You go here and you will find something called significant locations. Now, this will keep track of the locations where you go frequently and, of course, have a history of those locations there. I don't know why that would be useful, but it is there and it is turned on. So make sure you go ahead, tap right here. Of course, you need to open this with face ID and turn it off. Next up, we're going back to the seller settings and what you will find right here is iCloud Drive. Just scroll all the way down, you will have iCloud Drive right here and this will basically allow iCloud to transfer documents and data using seller now of course that might be useful but seller uses a lot of battery so that way icloud drive will use seller and at the same time just drain the battery out of your iphone you might as well just keep this off and of course everything will be done when you're connected to a wi-fi network now the same goes here for photos you go to the photo settings you will have seller data right here tap on seller data and you will have an option to enable it right there you even have an option here to enable unlimited updates what this will do again it's basically the same as icloud drive it will just use your seller data to transfer photo to icloud that will drain the battery out of your iphone just make sure you go ahead and keep this off now one setting that apple has added to ios 15 that i believe it's really underrated is scheduled summary for notifications now with this apple basically allows you to have your notifications delivered at a certain time of the day and not get notifications all the time of course you will have apps that you need to get the notifications right away and you can configure those but with scheduled summaries you go here and of course set up your scheduled summary at each time that you want to get them and you will get notifications only at that time and not get notifications all the time which also drains a lot of battery so make sure you do that make sure you have set up here your scheduled summary and of course enable the apps in which you want to have on your scheduled summary probably apps that you don't actually need that much that that are not that important and have your notifications delivered at a certain time and not all of them through the day get a lot of notifications that will drain the battery out of your iphone and really important also mail if you go to mail right here what you will need to do is go to accounts and you will have here your iclouds or maybe any other email that you have but right here down below you will have fetch new data if you go right here make sure that you just use right here manually and that would be much much better using push will just consume the battery out of your iphone this is really really important for your iphone you can go ahead and also configure this for any of your mails that you have you have fetch right here of course don't use push because that will just drain the battery out of your iphone this is one really really important setting that every user should configure next up we're moving to siri and search go right here and you will have here suggestions from apple 
and what you need to do right here is choose whether you want to see these suggestions or not. So basically you will have suggestions on your lock screen through notifications. That is of course always bad for the battery. You have here show in app library and spotlight. You will have show when sharing and also show when listening. Now what I suggest you do is completely turn these off because iOS will just learn stuff and just, just give you notifications all the time, give you suggestions that of course requires stuff to work in the background. That way will also consume a lot of battery. Another series setting that you should change is right here under accessibility find Siri right here and disable always listen for hey you know the word there this will just consume a lot of battery all the time having your iPhone listening for that word just imagine it it will consume the battery out of your iPhone and I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't even need this to be enabled so make sure to check this out and see if you have this enabled go ahead and turn it off and right here on the display and brightness, you will have something called rise to wake. This is one of the settings that I completely turned off once I get a new phone. This is just not that useful. Basically allows for the screen to wake up whenever you pick your iPhone from a table or maybe get it out of your pocket. That way, of course, we'll have the sensors working in the background all the time. And of course, using your battery. So make sure you go ahead and turn that off. Also under privacy right here, if you scroll all the way down, you will have analytics and improvements. You will have here a bunch of stuff that you can share all the different analytics and all that. Make sure you go ahead and turn these off. And one of the classics, background app refresh. You go to general, you will have background app refresh right here. Of course, there will be a bunch of different apps that you don't need to be working in the background. There are apps that of course might be important to you or that you need to have working all the time, you leave those on. But for most of the apps, you will actually need to go ahead, take a look at them and turn these switches off. Going here under the app store settings, what you will find here is seller data. You will have this turned on right here, automatic downloads. Make sure you have that switched off because this will allow downloads to happen automatically through seller. That way, of course, consume a lot of battery. That will happen for updates and things like that. That you probably don't need that, that urgent. You can just do that on Wi-Fi and of course save a ton of battery. Next, we're moving again under accessibility. We have motion right here and we have an option called reduce motion. Now reduce motion will reduce the animations on your device. Now I suggest you turn this on, especially if you have an older iPhone, this will help out a lot because of course it will have the CPU working less. That way, of course you get better battery life. Another settings that you should change right here is autoplay video previews. This basically plays video previews automatically anywhere on Safari and app store and things like that and it, when you're on seller data that consumes data and battery as well but of course it will also do so with wi-fi so make sure you go ahead and switch this off again so that's basically it for this video guys these are more than 20 settings that you should change on your iphone to get the best battery life out of your iphone thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this i'll see you on the next one